Today we're going to take a look at two great features from VMware and EMC. First we'll take a look at VMware Storage I.O. Control, which is found in vSphere 4.1, and then we'll take a look at EMC's Fully Automated Storage Tiering, or FAST V2, and how they work together. Alright, so let's take a first look at VMware's Storage I.O. Control. So looking at my vSphere client, you can see I have three Oracle servers running. I have two production and one development. They're all residing on three common data stores, my NS40-130, which is for my OS disk, and then FastDS1 and FastDS2, which is for my Oracle database. I have two Oracle productions running in this environment, and they're getting right around 16,000 transactions per minute. And what we're going to take a look at now is actually a developer who doesn't know that you know, this system is running on the same box as my production servers. So they just started their Oracle workload. And you know, let's, let's see it ramp up a little bit. And we can instantly see that uh, you know, it's affecting the performance of our production workload. So if we take a look now at our second production box, we could also see that that box uh, is reducing the count of transactions per minute. So this isn't good because it's affecting our production boxes. So let's go over and edit the settings of that development box, click on the resources tab, and then go over to the disk settings portion. Here in 4.1, we can now limit our IOPS at a virtual machine level. So this is VMware's storage IO control. So let's limit our IOPS on this development box down to 30 IOPS per disk. Let's switch back over looking at our production and development environments. Let's fast forward a little bit and you can see within seconds the amount of uh, transactions per minute has gone down significantly on my development box and our production workload is moving back up. But you know what? You need some more performance. So let's take a look at EMC's fully automated storage tiering. So those same data stores I told you about earlier, let's go ahead and edit the properties of, of those LUNs and change the tiering to the highest tier available. Right now, FAST is set for manual mode, so what's going to happen is all the data is written to SATA drives. But I'm going to switch this to the highest tier available, which is EFD drives. So we changed the first LUN. Now let's go over and switch the second LUN to the highest tier available as well. So now all new I.O will be written to our EFD drives, and also algorithms within FAST will determine what hot blocks or cold blocks need to be moved up or down. If we look at tiering now, simply since because we enabled it just now, nothing's going to be moved around. So let's fast forward a little bit and see what the system recommends us uh, do uh, right now. So we fast forward and you can see that 265 gigs needs to be moved up to flash drives. So this is really good. Let's go ahead and kick off this process. So like I said earlier, this can be done on a schedule or a manual basis. So I'm kicking this off manually right now, so it will run. Data will be moved from SATA drives to EFD drives. So now that this is kicked off, Let's go back and take a look at our workload. We can see that almost immediately the workloads are, are starting to increase in performance. This is because fully automated storage tiering is actually moving the data from slower SATA drives up to extremely fast EFD or enterprise flash disk drives. This demo has obviously been fast forwarded to show you the impact that fully automated storage sharing can provide to your environment. So what did we see today? We saw that VMware storage IO control gives VIP priority to specific virtual machine disks residing on shared storage. We also saw that EMC's fully automated storage tiering dynamically moves hot data to faster drives within the storage pool and cold data to slower larger drives, giving us greater efficiency and return on investment. Once again, I thank you for joining me today, and I invite you to visit the VMware community at emc.com slash vmwarecommunity.